Okay, in this video, I'm going to go into deeper depth on using the log crate. So in our current project, let's go ahead and bring in the log crate. And we'll also bring in simple log. Now your exact configuration depends on which logger you actually we bring in. But we'll start with simple log since it's pretty good and that'll get us started. So let's go ahead and take a look at our current output from this program which is using println statements. And we see that, okay, great, we get uh, the basic flow of the program. Now let's go ahead and add our configuration. So I'm going to bring in a, a file so I can log to a file. And I'm going to use the combined logger from simple log. The combined logger lets me write out to multiple files at the same time and I send it to the terminal and I'm going to send it to a write log or, or uh, my output file. And I'll need my config and I'll need my terminal mode. Great, so that'll let me configure uh, the logging. And we're going to need the level filter and let's bring in warn and uh, trace for now to replace some of our Pritlin statements. So let's go down to our main function and configure our logger. Uh, let's start by creating our output file. Uh, that's what we'll use to capture the the, uh, the kind of critical uh, errors from the program so we can we don't have to look through a bunch of stuff. And we're just going to call it logfile.txt and we're going to unwrap it since if it doesn't uh, work there's no point in continuing. Now we're going to use the new function from the term logger. It takes the same parameters as init but returns a boxed reference instead. So let's go ahead and add the filter. And we want everything to go out on the uh, terminal. So that's trace, the default config, and we're going to send it to standard out. All right. And we are going to also create a file logger. And again, we're going to use the new function instead of the init function. Uh, since we want a boxed reference. And that is going to have a level of warn. So the only thing the log, the file log will see are warnings and errors. And we're going to use the default configuration. And we need to tell what file to go to, so we'll pass in the output file that we created. Okay, great. Uh, now we're going to put those together into a combined logger. And we'll use the init function on the combined logger and we'll pass in a vector of logs to log to. And that'll be our term logger and our file log. And we'll go ahead and unwrap this since if it doesn't uh, initialize correctly, there's no point in continuing. So uh, let's first get rid of this that came in through autocomplete. Great. And let's go ahead and start replacing some of our println statements with traces. So or warn trace, let's see, that's a warning. Uh, let's go ahead and bring in error as well for more serious conditions. Now let's scroll down here, replace these with trace. And if the vehicle isn't found when it's trying to leave, that's more serious. Uh, that's an error. Okay, great. That's an error. All right, so now let's take a look at what the output looks like now that we've added in the logging. So if we run this program, okay, great, we see our, our nice logs. Now, what do you do if you don't have a main function? Well, all you need to do for libraries and modules is to bring in the log uh, macros that you want to use. The configuration is done in your main. So warn, main, uh, error, and trace are what we're going to bring into here. And we're going to take one of our structs and add uh, some logging to its member function. So we're going to trace when a car enters our garage struct. And we're going to trace when a car exits the garage struct. Now, if a car, uh, if the garage is full, we'll put out a warning that the garage is full. And if the car that's trying to leave isn't found in our database of cars, that's a more serious condition. We'll mark that as an error. Okay, great. 
So this is what it looks like from inside a library. You don't worry about the configuration that's done in your main. So if you now run this, you will see that you will get the output from the two parts and you'll see that we get uh, our lines for tracing, which are nice uh, if we're following along uh, during debugging. And in our output file, of course, we only see the warning and error messages. Uh, let me know in the comments if there are specific topics you want me to cover. Thank you.